All right, let's make sure we understand clearly the difference between Git and GitHub. I don't think it's that confusing, but it is in the study guide or exam outline. So I'm just trying to make content that they want us to know. Um, so let's do a comparison and go through some things to make sure we understand the difference. So Git is a distributed version control system, a DVCS, and GitHub is a version control as a service. I called it a version control service. It can also be called a Git provider or you can call it a version control as a service. I'm just trying to get you exposure to all those different terms you could call what GitHub is. For functionality, for Git, it manages source code history. For GitHub, it provides cloud storage for Git repos. Of course, it does more than that, but that's its main functionality. Um, for access, you're doing this via your local system installation, or it's basically wherever it's installed. But the point is, is that you're working on it on a machine, on a server or some kind of compute. Uh, and GitHub is accessed through a web interface because it is a cloud service. For the scope, we're talking about local repository management. And then for GitHub, we're actually talking about the online collaboration and remote hosting. Uh, so anything that has to do with remote or things around the repo, the Git repo itself. For collaboration, it's for local changes, requires manual sharing. For GitHub, it has integrated tools for collaboration like issues and PR and a lot of other features. For usage, you're gonna be using this primarily by the command line interface. There's definitely software out there that makes it a lot easier to use. Um, we'll get into that, but generally it's a command line tool that you're using. For GitHub, it has a graphical interface and it also has its own CLI tool, but most people are interacting with it via the website. Okay, so there you go, ciao.